Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy at the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. We're really, really close to the end right now. As you can see right here on the map, Lyria Castle is right over here. So we're only a few battles away. I don't think it will be this episode, but it might even be the next one where we'll have to end this series, which is really, really sad. But before we do that, and before we think about that, we're going to just check out these locals. Milady, do you see these town folk? The Rivian gold thieves whom you protected from the dwarves in Mahakam. They wish to repay you for the grace you showed in their time of need. They offer a share of their spoils from the mountains. Will you accept it? Uh, well, no. No, they have greater use for it. We have plenty of money, so I don't have to take that from them. So there we go. We have one more puzzle over here and then probably something in the fields over here, I'm supposing, before we head over there. But before we do that, we're going to go to this camp and clear that out. Uh, and then we'll head towards that puzzle battle. But first, this one. So there's spoils over here. Letter found, Vithold. I leave you a small gift which should ease the fort's recapture from the Nilf Guardians. Do not delay the attack. The queen will soon reach our border. By striking from the rear, we can spare the burden on her troops, hastening their march on the capital. Rivia has life in it yet. Yadopek. P.S. Secure the hideout's entrance. I don't believe the black lads are on our trail, but Melitta protects those who protect themselves. But they did die. So the Nilfgaardians must have been more protected than we thought. I'm also wondering if this thing over here is actually accessible. Oh! Automatically battle. Never mind. Night Watch. Sergeant Gwendolyn Ifir of the 6th Geso Infantry Regiment was impatient to finish his duty on watch. He first planned to empty his bladder. He then wished to empty his bottle of Temerian hooch hidden under his bunk. Unfortunately, he hadn't the time to fulfill either desire. Upon seeing the torches of the approaching Lydian force, he sounded the alarm. So a standard battle, so we'll be here for a while, but uh, I don't think this will be too much of a problem. So let's try to do it the Skellige way this time. Uh, so we'll start off with the uh, Grey Rider on one side, and maybe even just play... Hmm. Could actually replay the Grey Rider by doing this and then trying with an Aratusa Adept. And because we're gonna get Dogger next, which is interesting already. But for now, Grey Rider and Aratusa Adept. So Grey Rider over here yes. and Aratusa Adept in the back. Oh, oh Lady Margarita and told we us of this. can boost up the Brawlers. There we go. Get stuff moving around, boosting Gascon along with it. Spawn a random potion in your hand and we get damaged a bit. Now, I'm gonna play the Wagenberg next. So like this. Over here. So we can do 5 damage on a row if you want to. I'm not gonna do that just yet, of course, but it's good they have it nice ready. Choice. So we're getting damage. We're getting damage, so we don't have any Death Wish units yet, so let's just play Blood. Which means we already get Dagu 2 Blades, which is not that much of a problem. I have ways of getting him out of the deck anyway. So let's get... Um, Dagu isn't going to do anything yet, so... Egg and the Regiment Drummer. So like this and like this. Egg first, so the Regiment Drummer will allow us to pull another one. The night. Help. In a minute. Our codex commands it. And that's seven on the Wagenberg, which means I'm going to use it already. Just in case. There we go. Ah, and he's focusing on Nake anyway, which is interesting. He is going to take the most punishment, but still a weird choice, I think. But, this Grace Brawler over here and they're using the regiment drummer to play a sapper apparently interesting so let's just put that on the vandal elite and damage him like that and a turn yeah thought we were gonna get a pass we yeah we have overwhelming numbers so might as well just pass two and see what we'll get in the next round 
sad that we lost Dogger, it's kind of my own fault. Because of course playing Blood automatically pulls the top 5 cards. But nothing too problematic just yet. I'm going to play a bit. I'm going to keep my redraws until the next round. Let's see if we play the Aretuza Adept. <sighs> I'll ever pay off these and do loans. disgraced brawlers again. We can actually try to get the most out of this. So end the turn. 101, 102, 103. And then Grey Ride it. I live to serve you. Use Meave to pull the Grey Ride it back. And play uh, the Grey Ride it and reinforcements. So the Grey Rider can start over here. Without hesitation. And reinforcements is wrong because I can't cut them. I can't play the Brawlers just yet because it's not on the field. But I can't cancel, so yeah. Wasted that card. Cut them. Not a problem just yet. Not a problem just yet. Order! And we get damage on the Grey Rider, which is fine as well. So let's just put the Brawlers over here. And the turn. Because with marching orders we'll be able to do more. So, marching orders. Uh, we can use marching orders to reset Meave. Get the Grey Rider out. And then replay him again. Replay the Grey Rider and the Blacksmith. So Grey Rider over here, as you command. Blacksmith over here, the hell, mate? Got to pop to and go. then reinforcements, which we can play now anyway, and replay all the brawlers. We'll just play all the brawlers. One over here, <laughs> Think I'm up here. moving them back and forth, Don't need no weapon. like this, Come here. Let's dance. and like this, ah. a bunch of brawlers on the field. And then we can start doing damage on the Venendal Elite and the Derlin Veterans. And then the turn. Off to the front yet again. Next run we'll start using the Stray Slingers as well. Because the Stray Slinger can move Bigger units around. So three units that we can move around. We're going to take the ones with the four armor. Like this. Those all move, then we're going to have to spread out the damage a bit, so I think we can do 4 damage with Rivian Sapper. So Vanandal Elite and Black Infantry Arbalest. Uh, Infantry Arbalest and Derlin Veterans. Derlin Veterans and Derlin Veterans, and we're going to do that a few more times. Just to spread that out a bit and get more units at 4 health So end the turn. Ah, and they get more resilience. Yeah, they get boosted more. That's annoying. But not something I can help with. So let's just put the sapper on the field. Don't you worry yourself, one over here. One over there, which gets rid of the damage anyway. Um, and then get rid of the, the... I don't know why the immunity hasn't gone yet. That's weird. And that's that. So they're all getting resilience, which is bad. I think I'm gonna play the Disgraced Warrior. So he gets boosted. Then next turn we're gonna play the Devana Runestone and end our round, turn, whatever you wanna call it. Damage all enemies by one and boost the unit by that, which is nice because those have resilience. Then Devana Runestone on these guys. And that boosts all my Skellige units by 6. And that's not going to be enough to kill the Elite. Which sucks. But yeah. I think that's going to be it. He's going to damage my Grey Rider. Yeah, which is fine. So let's... I'm going to just play this out. I want Because I think I might actually be able to do this. So... Pull back the sapper and then play Rainer to get all the charges back and then 
another stray slinger. So Reynard getting charges up other. to everybody and the slinger. Which gives us six one. more moves. Which we can't really use just yet, but... Um, force an enemy to damage the disgraced warrior by its power, so that's not going to help. But I do have that every single time. So I can take out the Vanandal Elite's armor and then some. Like this. Then uh, the first Trace Slinger. Like this and on our own unit, sadly. I'm going to take Reynard because he has the most armor. Which is still three moves, of course. Then we're going to use a Disgraced Warrior to take out the Vanandal Elite, which removes the immunity from everything else. And then we can use that to swap around some more units, especially the Resilience ones. There we go. Another three moves, and that gives Gascoin his final tally of 61 Coin points. Never stinks, no matter how rank the and pass. Think we should be fine. Off to the front yet again. He's going to be able to use his ability once more or not? No. There we go. A dumb Skellige style this time. Wanted to just spice it up a bit for our last few matches. I'm actually going to change the deck just a little bit because I feel like we're missing out on huge damage potential. And we're playing around with the graveyard a lot as well. I uh, don't know how I'm going to reach that like that. Okay, apparently Meave has telekinesis powers. Uh, anything in the tens doesn't seem like it. So, so the Lillian banner is cool and all, but I feel like we're gonna get more out of our deck if we actually change it to something else. Um, and we have a lot of interesting ones, and I think I'm gonna try Valmir's Horn. So whenever an ally appears, strike it by one and give it one armor. We have a lot of abilities that use multiple units, so I think that's gonna be fine. And then I'm going to swap out uh, one of our fancy artifacts here. Our fancy special cards with something else. Blood is cool. Blood is playing multiple cards. And we get cards in the graveyard like that as well. The Vana Runestone is perfect as well. So I think the reinforcements is going to have to go. So like that. So we miss our giant onager combo. Which is also sad. So I think, you know what? I'm going to keep reinforcements, get rid of blood. And then play Skull. So banish any number of units from your graveyard. Then damage all units on a row by the amount banished. Which is a perfect finisher if we don't have enough damage output just yet. And especially since we can do that in one go. Uh, so that is that. And just for fun, we're going to play Nickers again. Just for fun, we're going to play Nickers again. So that, that, that's that, that's that as well. And then maybe even put in the mantlet. I haven't really tried that out yet. So mark an ally when it is destroyed. Move it to hand instead of graveyard. And destroy itself. So might be able to repurpose certain units. Which is interesting. So especially maybe with Dogur. We can make some uh, really, really cool combos. So let's put the mantlet in there as well. We have the space for it. And we can pull them out with Meave at any point, so... Okay. The wind howls like a ghastly apparition. Okay, Meave, a ghastly apparition. So we moved back through the city, the village of Broadhead. And we're heading north towards that puzzle battle we saw at the beginning of the episode. I can't move along here, Brandon. I'm just figuring out where there might be more uh, resources. Not that we need them, but... There's morale over there, but I feel like morale is fine. So let's just do... The puzzle battle first. And get these resources first, thank you. Okay. Freeze! Is that breaking? Freeze! So, I did have a freeze there. There we go, now we can actually grab it. That was annoying, but uh, there we go. I had to restart the game and... Puzzle battle! Workforce. Once General Abdahi seized Rivia, he ordered an immediate census of the conquered population. At first, many thought the Guardians had planned to raise taxes. But the truth was, in fact, much worse. Before long, villages and settlements were visited by slave drivers. There was no hiding from them. They knew of every soul living there. So eliminate the slave drivers to not let any unit die and use your leader's ability. So it's a puzzle battle, so we can't choose the cards we're using. 
And we have quite a bit of stuff on the land. Boost an ally by four and give it one armor and trigger all allies' loyal abilities. And we have three slaves with the armored cavalry art for some reason. When damaged by slave driver, damage the lowest enemy by one. If this unit's power is higher than slave driver's transform slave driver into a corpse. Every turn on turn start, damage the slave in front of this unit by one. And now we have a horse thief mark unit after three turns on turn start. Switch its power with this unit's power. Set a unit's power equal to the unit on its left. Yes. And give a charge. So I think we should start with the Lyrian Sightman. There's a time to reap, a time to sow. So we give it a boost and armor. So that does that. Let's end a turn and we get damage three times. There we go. Damage the lowest enemy by one. Set a unit's power equal to the unit to its left. To its left. So we need to be careful. Give a charge on the card on the right. Okay, so I can get... Um, damaged once. So unit's power equal to the units to its left. So let's put the horse thief next to Stick up. the Lyrian Cyclone. Then the slave will mark that. Okay. Then we can use the alchemist to swap the power. If anyone asks, you've not seen me. And equalize that. Okay. And the turn. So we can survive that. Then we can give a charge to the car to the right. Okay. So we can do that. Like this. Not going into the fray already, are we? And boost the incitement again. And and the turn like this, and now we can use this alchemist to do this, and this alchemist to do this. I'm no mage. There we go, and there we go. Kill the slave drivers. Oh yeah, turn the tables on those bastards. And that's that, slave drivers down. That was a, a cool little puzzle. And it's freezing again. So, I had another freeze, had to restart the game again, and I even had to do this puzzle again, which didn't take that long because I knew what I had to do, but still annoying. Don't know where this is coming from all of a sudden, but let's try and grab this again. Okay, that worked. Okay, that still seems to work. Fine. Great. God damn it. That was annoying. Um, I'm hoping this still keeps working because if this is the final time I'm recording this game, I want to have everything running smoothly. So I even need to re grab this again. Although this might be bugged. This might be the bugged box. It's a, a, a title for a battle. The, the, I don't think these poles should be on top of me. This doesn't look correctly. But. Let's uh, pray at the shrine, boosting morale up, and I'm actually wondering if my deck has been adjusted now. Okay, so it does save after I've adjusted the deck, so my deck was still changed with the, uh, the skull and knickers that I've added, so that is good, that's good. Okay, so we can move on across the bridge, gonna keep playing for a little while, and what else do we have here? We have a little church. Which, apparently, there's nothing we can do about the church. Looks cozy, though. Then, another house. This means that we're almost, we're almost there. We're almost there, but still a question mark. And more stuff to gather around with. There we go. Then this. Rivians, to those who would consider aiding the enemy in the hope of earning their goodwill, may you learn from the fate of Count Caldwell. He was the first to accept the Emperor's leash around his neck and desired a mountain of gold in return. 
yet he was instead granted a putrid swamp. He taught himself the Nilfgaardians his equal, yet they despised him. He dreamed of glory everlasting, yet died like a hog. Died like hog, covered in muck and grime. Do not follow in his footsteps, for you would share his fate. Okay, kind of a warning there. I feel like, am I jumping over stuff? This is weird. I'm starting to see bugs, I don't want to see bugs. Castle. Seems our journey nears its end. That end could yet prove tragic. We've daunting tasks ahead. Pride. It's all I ever felt pondering those walls. Yet now, to behold them from below, I truly do wish we hadn't built them so tall. Okay. Indeed. But we'll see about that. Let's talk to this woman first. Your Majesty, the priestess who cares for this temple has in her possession a fragment of a magical object. It could prove useful to us, yet she refuses to part with it. No matter the generosity of our offer, what shall we do? Nonsense. Everyone has a price. Pay whatever she demands. And there we go. Dragon's Dream complete. We get another artifact card. So Dragon's Dream, after five turns on turn end, destroy three random enemies. That is too random for my taste, because I can't even add it, because I have uh, my limit there. So yeah, it's too, too random for my taste. It's not as good as, as the other ones in our deck, so we'll leave it at that. Now, am I to believe that we're close enough? Yeah, that's the quest marker. Just gonna grab this so we can return. I'm gonna use the scouts on the map. So let's use scouts and reveal. I'm gonna take a look around if I missed anything. I've missed something over here. Something over here as well. Oh, there's more stuff and a question mark over there. So I have a few things I can check out. Uh, and I will do that now before we move on. So see you guys in a second if anything useful comes up and otherwise we'll still be at the gates. I think I missed a letter in the middle of the map somewhere. So to all elder races know that it is the black lads, the false allies and would-be saviors of non-humans who have deviously turned you against your Nordling neighbors. When Rosberg fell at the hands of an imperial spy, Nilfgaard spread word that a treacherous blow was dealt by the city's dwarves and elves in hopes the rumor would spark an outbreak of bloody pogroms. Clearly the Nilfgaardians do not view you as friends or equals, but as mere instruments. They do not have your best interests in mind. Seize your support of the foreign emperor immediately. Lend aid to your queen. And then apparently we have a monster nest. My lady, knackers have nested in the fields. The beasts have a nasty habit of hoarding stolen trinkets. We may unearth some of them, but I cannot guarantee you will escape without losses. Yeah, let's have Aix settle the matter with the same uh, gains, but without the loss in soldiers. There we go, so that is that. I'm actually wondering, because we still have a map that we haven't found yet as well. So I feel like that should be around here somewhere as well, but uh, we'll see about that. So I got really confused on that map we still have left, but I eventually found it. It's right over here, so this is the end. And for some reason, it's between the the... Uh, the quarry camp and this other camp uh, to the east of Lord Caldwell's estate and I don't know why it's so far from its treasure map location because usually it's pretty close together but enough complaining let's just open that up and we have what is probably our final border there we go so back to the castle and at the castle I'm gonna take a little break so it's sorry I need to cut this short but uh, next time we'll head through these gates and I'm supposing we're gonna finish this so with full morale and a huge army on our backs, I'm going to keep the uh, resources we have as they are. Because, yeah, I don't know if we're going to have to use those in this uh, next batch of, well, the final steps of the main quest, I suppose. So thank you guys enormously for watching and hope to see you guys in the next, maybe final episode of Thronebreaker The Witcher Tales. Goodbye.